each marshal pack, when you're marshalling, there is the map and the legal document that they sent us. Okay, in every marshal. D 2.4 and the juniors and scooter 1.9. Okay, now the temperature is due to, it's not meant to go high, but it is sunny. I mean, even to look at them, I think most people um, would say they are as close um, in appearance as you would get to a wolf and that really does go back to nature doesn't it you know you do feel like you've got um, nature with you all the time um, their temperaments um, they're they're willing to please on the trail um, off the trail uh, they're easy to live with um, you know they, they they love doing their job I mean you've been around here um, for a couple of hours or so this morning um, and you only have to listen and look at what those dogs are like when they're hitched in, ready to go. I mean, they're so, so eager, um, which is, a, you know, their premier trait. They are a sled dog. Um, um, it is incredible fun. It's incredible hard work. But within our championship, fun is the name of the game because you have within a, um, you know, we've got 260 entries this weekend um, somebody's got to come first somebody's got to bring up the tail yeah at the end of the day the one that comes last has fun the one that comes first has fun <laughs> A good team is a um, is a team which is trained and conditioned very well, but primarily they're all of the same ability, um, and that's the that's the key thing, and and that's the the biggest issue I suppose with running bigger teams is the fact that you need six, seven, eight dogs that are all of equal ability because you can't have seven quick ones and and an eighth one which is very very slow. You're only as slow as your or, or as quick as your fastest dog. Um, so it's, it's maintaining that balance through the team which is, um, which is critical and of course then training, nutrition, uh, conditioning, I use training and conditioning in separate um, sentences because training is their ability to turn left, turn right, accelerate up hills, maintain their speed going down hills on flats and so on. Conditioning is actually muscle, um, CV and it, you know it, it gets quite technical and scientific at that point. We use Eskimo commands, um, and that's been inherited, I suppose, really. Um, Haw for left and G for right. Um, I tell mine to get up. A lot of people um, tell them to, you know, um, pick up um, or dig in or whatever. You know, each to their own. You know, provided it makes the dogs um, understand that they, you know that they needed to go quicker. Um, Wool is fairly commonly used on, on um, you know, down long downhills. Um, take it easy and um, the other one which is critical of course is on by which is kind of taken I suppose from from um, sheepdogs really in um, in terms of you know loose dogs um, squirrels um, deer you know anything that fancies its way coming out onto the trail and even um, even people just walking um, you know dogs can get uh, just for a second they just you know switch off and and you need to give them that on by command and that focuses their thoughts and gets them past whatever it is that you think might be interrupting their, their vision really at that point because they are in total concentration and, and away they go. Got him! 
Let's go. Yeah. Bye. 
clever girls, Kevin. Kevin. Good girls. Well done, Kevin. What a clever girl. Look at you. Well done. Well done. Hello. Hello. Well done. Did you do well? Did you do well? Clever girls. You ready? Yeah. Nice run. Ready? Yeah, I had a nice run. His eye was running for about a week, and uh, it just all, all stayed. Well done. You've done a good job. Mm -hmm. This is lush, isn't it?